About 70 kilometers north of Ghana's capital, Accra, lies the Etiwa Forest. A large area of the range was declared a forest reserve in 1925 because of the important function as the source of three rivers, Dinsu, Ayensu, and Brim. Many agricultural communities along the banks of these rivers depend on them as their only water source. In Accra alone, 1.5 million people depend on water that flows from Etiwa. The forest is also recognized as a globally significant biodiversity area. It houses a great variety of plants and animals, including many rare and endangered trees, primates and amphibians. But the existence of the forest is under threat. Illegal logging, hunting and farm encroachment continue to harm the forest and undermine its capacity to absorb and filter rainwater. And a much larger threat is on the horizon. The area is rich in bauxite and gold, and there are financial incentives to give up the precious forest for mining. This has severe consequences. Rivers turn from clear waters to muddy streams, and toxic metals such as mercury enter the water supply, making it unsafe for consumption. For most breweries and for people who produce beer, even for non-alcoholic products, your production process requires about um, 80 to 90 percent of water. So there is no way we will have a business without water. If you live anywhere along the river course, you should just bear in mind that you are living upstream some other person's uh, uh, water. But upstream, local communities don't have much choice. And of course, I mean, you can't say 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 you can't if the water continue to undergo such a threatening situation now, water quality will be so bad, we have to use more chemicals to treat. Prices of water will come up high again. If Accra is not getting water, cholera will be there. People will not get water at all for anything. And water is life. To help understand the consequences of these changes and the best way to manage them, IUC and NL, the Rocha and Forestry Commission, are working to calculate the economic costs and benefits of effectively preserving the forest range. Researchers estimate that the Atiwa forest is worth almost $100 million per year to people in Accra companies like Guinness and rural communities. Because of its function as a source of regular clean water, products from the forest and its tourism potential, most of this value would be lost if the current practices continue. We don't want to wake up one day and, and lose this very important resource, not just for our current generation, but for generations that will come after us. How can we secure this unique forest and the water it supplies to millions of people? Together, we can convince the Ghanaian government to make Atiwa Forest a national park. This will guarantee better protection. 
we can support communities around Etiwa to invest in sustainable alternative livelihoods and contribute to the management of the forest. Help safeguard Etiwa. Support our call to the Ghanaian government.